Good morning, children. Today is the third class of control and coordination. So far, we have seen control co coordination in animals that is done by that happened by nervous system and chemical coordination that is secretion of hormones by endocrine glands. Right? Those nerve mm, coordination in animals or human beings by nervous system was nothing to do with growth. Growth is related only to the influence of environment to respond how we coordinate our body to the conditions we saw in nervous system. Nothing was related to growth. Whereas hormones to some extent it was related to growth like growth hormone everything in that was related to growth. Whereas in plants everything is related to growth. Coordination in plants is not because plants cannot move like human beings. So here coordination in plants is everything is related to plants. Let us see how what happens in plants, how coordination happens. Okay. In plants, since the coordination is required for growth, there are two types of growth. One is movement dependent on growth. Plants move to the stimulus. It depends on the growth. That is called tropic movement. Tropic. This tropic movement is movement dependent on growth. Whereas nastic movement, this is nothing to do with the growth. It is independent of growth. It's no directional movement. Simple example is you have seen touch me not plant. When we just touch the plant, it closes its leaves. Right? Muttidra muni gida. Muttidra sakwa the elegalla muchavit. He responds yak paratendra plants ali. Atal growth in mula. It is just a matter of water movement in the leaves. Mutti takshna water ala olagutagate. So leaves will droop, close. Once after some time, when water enters the leaves, automatically it will become a normal condition. That is nothing to relate, nothing is associated with neuron growth. So this is called nastic movement. The one example for that, it is uh, when we touch the um, touch me not plant, it drooping of leaves, leaves droops. Okay. Now let us see what are the tropic movements that are, uh, what are the stimulus that happens to the plants. There are five types of stimulus in plants. Example, phototropism, geotropism, chemo, hydro and thigmotropism. Phototropism is the movement of plants towards light. We know plants require, green plants require light for photosynthesis and while growing how plants move towards light that response is called phototropism okay and movement towards gravity gravity kade move agadike geotropism okay chemo and chemicals within the plants some chemicals are released and how plant organs, not entire plant, some of the organs, how they'll move. For example, in chemicals, growth of the, when pollen grains are formed, some chemicals are produced. This pollen grains has to move towards ovule. How it moves? The pathway is towards chemicals. Chemicals show the pathway to move pollen towards ovary. That is called chemotropism. Growth produced by chemicals. Hydrotropism. How plants move towards water. How response to the water. 
that is called hydrotropism. That is movement of plant parts towards water is called hydrotropism. Now coming to thigmotropism. Thigmotropism is a sense of touch. If, for example, climbers and creepers, they cannot want support. A support, mechanical support or sense of touch is called thigmotropism. Light here, related growth other phototropism. Gravity related growth other geotropism. Chemicals related growth other chemotropism. If it grows towards water, hydro, hydro means water, hydrotropism, thigmotropism, movement towards support. Okay. Now let's see the examples for the, these things. This is a picture where we chose if we place a plant next to the window where, where light is coming, automatically the leaf starts bending and moving towards light. It bends and grows more towards light. Okay, this is phototropism. Okay, similarly, if the in the potted plant, usually shoots grow towards light because for photosynthesis, we require green plants. Whereas roots, it moves towards soil, inside the soil. It moves towards gravity, Earth's gravity, towards the soil. So this is the example from geotrophism. If roots shows positive geotrophic effect, leaves show negative geotrophic effect. So it moves away from the soil, whereas roots move towards the soil. This is an example for geotropism. Root attracts towards the gra Earth's gravity. So geotropism example. And this is another example. This is another example where plants move towards water. That is hydrotropism. This is the one uh, experiment that you can do at home itself. Just put a plant, a rooted plant in one jar, in glass jar and in one cup water. Make a hole at the bottom of the cup and place water. When the roots grow, the root tips start moving towards water. It bends and moves towards water. Okay, you can mm, just write in your own words how to plant this experiment. They, they might ask question for this. Okay, just put a plant with roots and uh, shoots in the box and in one cup, thermocol cup or any cup, mud cup, just put a hole at the bottom and place water. Automatically root grows towards water because roots require water. Since plants require water for photosynthesis, it sucks from the roots. So roots grow in search of water. It grows deep into the soil in water or it grows towards water. Okay, this is example for hydrotropism. Now, Chemotropism. Let us see the chemotropism. When flower sets in, flower idadaga, this is a pollen, male organ, this is a stigma, this is a ovary, stigma, style, ovary, this is a female uh, organ. This is a male organ. Male organ produces pollens. Pollens na produce madate. Like male cell is sperm produce madange. Illi plant cell pollen produce agat. Okay. This pollen falls on the stigma. Wind that why again have insects in the honey bees adilla. If pollen na togun mano it 
falls on the stigma. This stigma, because it produces a chemical, this pollen moves to the stigma and passes through the style and reaches the ovary. Avaga for pollination agate, fertilization agate. Okay, so it forms a seed set. Seed set agate. That is, movement of pollen towards stigma is due to production of chemicals here. It attracts to the chemicals and comes in contact with the stigma and enters the ovary. This is an automatic phenomenon that occurs in the plant. This is example for chemotropism. Now, coming to thigmotropism. Say, this is a climber, bully. If you one kaddi it takshna, it tendrils, stem tendrils, it gets coiled to the support and it grows. It tendrils grow agal. Tendrils only take the support, whereas leaves, portion away from the tendril, it grows. Okay. This is a stem tendrils to climb up a support. Whereas it is leaf tendrils. Leaf alone tendrils are at there. Alone bundle. Alone it is at there. It grow at there. Side shoots grow. Okay. This is the thigmotropism. That is the support touch that is required. Phototropism. Leaves bends towards light. Geotropism. Roots bend towards earth's gravity. That is towards soil. Whereas hydrotropism. Roots grow towards water. Chemotropism, because of chemicals, pollen move towards ovary, pollination occurs and fertilization happens. Flowers lead to seed setting, seed sagate, that is a chemotropism, whereas stigmatropism, growth of creepers and climbers happens due to stigmatropism. Okay. All these are related to growth. Phototrophism, geotrophism, hydrotrophism, thigmotrophism, and chemotrophism all were related to growth related. That is tropic movements. Now, this last one, this is a nastic moment. Touch me not plant. When we touch these leaves, it folds because of the movement of water. Okay, nothing is related to growth, so it is called nastic movement, not independent of growth. Okay, now to have these tropisms growth related to these tropic moments that uh, conditions plants also reproduce hormones okay in chemical coordination we saw in human beings that hormones are secreted by endocrine glands and pass from uh, one production site to target site to influence growth. Similarly, in plants, plants also produce hormones that is required for growth. Okay, there are five types of hormone in plants required for growth. What are plant hormones? Plant hormones are also chemicals that is required in very small quantity. It is required in very small quantity. It is produced in some parts of the plant, but it is transported to other parts of the plant to perform biochemical, physiological, and morphological responses. One part of the plant will produce agi, it is transported to other parts of the plant to perform biological, biochemical, physiological, and Morphological response. Biochemical and photosynthesis. Respiration is a biochemical process. Physiological growth. Morphological seed set to fruit development. Those are morphological changes and the changes in the plants. Okay. To bring out these changes, plant hormones are required. There are two types of plant hormones. One is growth promoter. Some hormones promote the growth of the plant, whereas some hormones inhibit the growth of the plant. Out of five hormones, plants, three hormones called auxins, cytokinins, and gibberlins are growth promoters. They promote the growth, whereas 
ethylene and abscisic acid. These are growth inhibitors. Okay. Now let us see each hormone, how it influences the growth of the plant. For example, let us take the first hormone, auxin. It is usually found in the apical meristems. Apical meristems and the tudi. Bilio tudi. And the shoot tips and root tips. Shoot mate root tips ali, apical buds ali, auxin production ali. Alli production ali, it helps in cell elongation and differentiation of root shoot tips. Shoot tips grow at agat. Divide agate, matha cells differentiate agate also. Mele growth at the shoot. Whereas in roots, same function happens, cell elongation, differentiation, root tips, root growth. It leads to short growth and it leads to root growth. Okay. Adik example health. Here, shoot grows. Oxygen will be produced here in the shoot tips. Okay. What happens when the light is there? Oxygen production will be more here towards the region where no light is there. So growth of these regions, leaves of these regions will be more. So it bends, whole plant bend towards the light and it grows. This phototrophism happens due to presence of oxygen at the tips. Okay. Similarly, geotropism against the gravity. Right? Here also, since oxygens are present at the root tips, it grows towards the gravity, Earth's gravity. Here also, geotropism also happens due to oxygens production at the root tips. Root growth in the geotropism agathe due to presence of oxygen. Phototropism, geotropism. Here do oxygens milka. Now let us see hydrotropism. Here also what roots move towards water. Yaakya roots illela roots growth agala. Only this tip it grows and moves towards the water. If bendagi muagadu, that is because of the more oxygen production in the tips. Okay. Now let us see in thigmotropism. It tendrils are more oxygen production agatrin. The oxygen production agatra gutirala at nearby stem at the nearby leaves illella growth agat. Climbers so creepers are because of the oxygen production, more of oxygen production in the tendrils which comes in contact with the stem support. Support at the band takshna or Touch at oxygen production will be more. So leaves will grow, plants will grow. In all these cases, oxygen plays a major role in growth. For photo, geo, hydro, and chigmotropism, oxygen plays a major role. Okay. Now we'll see the second hormone that is cytokinin. Cyto means cell. Kyanin means divide. And it promotes cell division. In earlier classes, you have seen mitosis and meiosis. You know what is mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis and meiosis, again, it starts multiplying. Right? Cell starts multiplying. Cytokinins promote cell division. And it leads to opening of stomata. Leaves grow agathe, in the opening of stomata agathe, more photosynthesis agathe, more starch carbohydrates will be produced and plants will grow. Illi shoot tips root tips grow agathe, idu formation of lateral buds in main stem in the side shoots. These are called lateral shoots, lateral buds. Cytokinin helps to form lateral buds. More photosynthesis, more cell division, and due to that, lateral buds, lateral shoots will start, side shoots will start, so the plants grow. And the third hormone that is gibberellin, what will it do? 
giperlin it helps in it it is required for starting of germination of seeds start germination of seeds ko giberlins beko yake andre kelu one seeds alli dormancy seeds anta irutte dormant seeds anta andre particular condition baro varge germinate agala kelu one seeds those are called dormant seeds a dormant seeds alli akasmat giberlins idre it breaks the dormancy of the seeds and it allows seeds to germination germination agakke giberlins be ಆಮ್ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟ್ ಮೊಳಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಕ್ಕೆ ಮೊಳಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಕ್ಕೂ ಗಿಬ್ಬರ್ಲಿನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಶೂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಟಿಪ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಎಲಾಂಗೇಷನ್ ಮಧ್ಯ ಇಂಟರ್ ನೋಡಲ್ ಎಲಾಂಗೇಷನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ನೋಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಡ್ಸ್ ಗಳಿಗೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಮಧ್ಯ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಇರ್ತ ಆ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ಉದ್ದ ಆಗತ್ತೆ for that it requires giberlins germination sprouting stem elongation and also it stimulates flowering flowering agbeku andre giberlins beku fruit development agbeku andre giberlins beku illi nodi for chemical chemotropism flower barutte flower inda pollen illagi illi fertilize agi idu seed fertilize aadre illi seed set agutte seed set other fruit set other for this chemotropism we need a hormone called giberlic acid atwa giberlins okay idikella auxins bekadre ee tropic movements kella auxin bekadre chemotropism in matra we need giberlins okay these are the three growth promoters it shoot tip root tip grow adre since it present in the tip of the idu we see we saw all tropisms except chemotropism auxin plays a major role shoot growth or root growth agutte vara cytokinin it is present in the leaves leaves al form agutte lateral bud formation agutte stomata open agutte cell division agi leaves grow agutte or as giberlins it is present in the seeds and it is required for germination sprouting stem elongation stem cell irutte so stem elongation agutte it stimulates flowering and fruit development illi seeds all iddidu it moves to all parts of the plant buds stem flower fruit in all parts of the growing part of the plant giberlins are required okay it moves from seeds to fruit development fruit set these are growth promoter hormones now let us see two growth inhibitor hormones which are the two growth inhibitor hormones one is ethylene ethylene is called a ripening hormone and the ripening of fruits ek banana baale and kai thagu mon mutti cut mark cut madvaga kai age irutte ಅದು ಹಣ್ಣು ಆಗಬೇಕು ಹೆಂಗ ಹಣ್ಣು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಬನಾನ ಇಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಅ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇತಿಲಿ ದಟ್ ಇತಿಲಿ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೈಪನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಣ್ಣು ಆಗಕ್ಕೆ ಇತಿಲಿ ಬೇಕು ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ನಾವು ಬಾಳೆಕಾಯಿನ ತಗೊಂಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಹಣ್ಣು ಜೊತೆ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಕಾಯಿ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಕಾಯಿ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದ ಹಣ್ಣು ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಇತಿಲಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ನಾವು ಬಾಳೆ ಕಾಯಿನ ತಗೊಂಬಂದು ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಹಣ್ಣುಗಳ ಜೊತೆಲಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಬೇಗ ಹಣ್ಣಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಕಲರ್ ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸಸ್ ಇತಿಲೀನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬನಾನಾ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಪನ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಗೇಷಿಯಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇತಿಲಿ ವರಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲಿಕ್ವಿಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವರಸ್ ಇದು ಗೇಷಿಯಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ethyl it is required for ripening of fruits mainly ane gida tandu ella beldu hannu kottu hannu na kitta mele ethylin production agutte hannu that is required for ripening of so it is a growth inhibitor once athe hannu aagtidange a plant the life aayitu it inhibits the growth production of ethylin and it inhibits the growth 
and the last hormone is called abscisic acid this is also called stress hormone idu yavaga produce produce agutte andre when there is a stress a water stress idre athwa salt stress idre enadru plants ige stress idre ಈಗ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಅಥವಾ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಷಿಯಂ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಇದ್ದಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಅಬ್ಸಿಸಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ನ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೊಮಾಟ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟೊಮಾಟ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟೊಮಾಟ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ದಂಗೆ ನೋ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೋ ಫೋಟೋಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ನೋ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನಿಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇನಿಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಅದಂಗೆ leaves starts wilting and leaves fall off it wilting aagtidange bere eno formation seeds at of flower development fruit development eno agala so plants die this is called stress hormone this is produced during stress conditions ಏನೇ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ವಾಟರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಹೀಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ತರದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಇದ್ರು ದಿಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸಿಸಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೊಮ್ಯಾಟ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇನ್ ಇಬಿಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ವಿಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಫೋಟೋಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಬರಲ್ಲ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಲೀವ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ವಿಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಡೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಬಿಟ್ಸ್ so this is called stress hormone these are the five important hormones that are required for the plants for their growth which controls and coordinates tropic movements along with the growth okay you know how biochemical cell division opening of stomata physiological morphological flowering and fruit development ripening of fruits morphological development okay these are the role of plant hormones this is role of plant hormones is not same as hormones present in the human beings some hormones are related to growth but here entire plant growth starting from germination of seed to fruit development to senescence dying of plants hormone plays a major role after seeing all this now let us see what is the difference between coordination in animals and coordination in plants what are the differences control and coordination in animals is very complicated it requires new neurons nerve system nervous system and the endocrine system so it is very complex in nature whereas in plants it is simple production of hormones it regulates all tropic movements and it uh, grows and dies it's very simple animal systems have nervous system and endocrine system to control coordination whereas plants do not have nervous system but they produce different hormones that are responsible for control and coordination in plants ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆದರೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಶೂಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ರೂಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನಿಬಿಟ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಇನಿಬಿಷ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಗಿಬ್ಬರ್ಲಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಎಲಾಂಗೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನೂ ಇರಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೈ different hormones now animals have specific glands to secrete hormones pituitary gland produces growth hormone pancreas produces insulin similarly adrenaline glands adrenal glands produce adrenaline hormones whereas plants they do not have a specific glands animals here on the plants only they do not have glands for secretion of hormones these are the three differences between animals and plants okay this completes the chapter control and coordination if you have any doubts 
get back to the teachers to clarify yourself for the doubts. Okay. Thank you.